Uh, we're live, everyone, so uh, uh, all the mics are muted. Uh, we'll, we've got about 15 minutes.
for about three minutes out. Matthew, you want to go and set up for the stage there? Oh, my hair's a mess. Do you have someone on mute? I am on my, I'm unmuted. Well, what a fabulous mic. I really appreciate that. That's, I would have insisted on this earlier. This is nice. How many chins? Just one, okay, okay. <laughs> I grew the beard to cover one. And here we are. Good evening. Welcome once again to Late for Dinner, Art Sanctuary's live streaming showcase from right here at the stage of Art Sanctuary here in Germantown. I am Creighton Barrel, your host, and uh, we have a couple of fine acts for you this evening. Uh, we have, beginning right here, and we're going to go ahead and go straight on into it for our debut on this stage, the fine solo act of Maxwell Whitaker. Well, hi there. Well, thank you. Well, I haven't sang anything yet. You might want to wait till I sing. <laughs> now, I would like to say this is my debut on most any stage that is not a basement, so you'll have to forgive if I make any mistakes, but I'd like to start out the show by blabbing a little bit. Well, not a lot. And I'd like to play this old folk song which is called Come All Ye Fair and Tender Ladies. And then I'll play some originals, and then, I don't know, something will happen. Come all ye fair and tender ladies. Take warning off. We'll court young men. Summer's morning, 
Thank you, everybody. I shouldn't do that. Now, I'd like to play a song that I actually wrote here. I wrote this song years and years ago. It's, I, I don't know how long ago, but uh, it was on the first record I ever put out. And uh, this was back before I really knew how to sing, too. So I'd like to do at least a little bit better than the album version here. And it's called uh, Boys in Dresses. And it's about boys in dresses. Imagine that. That doesn't sound right. There we go. This is another song that rec I think I recently released it as a single. I forget. I get them all mixed up. You know, I'm, I can kind of sing and I can't really do much else. I took an online IQ test once and it told me I had, I believe it was a 79. I swear, I swear it's God's honest truth. But uh, this is a song about a church that has a pool in it. I don't know if you've ever been to like one of those big old mega churches. I haven't, but I imagine maybe they have pools in them. I don't know. Uh, it's, I just wrote a song about it. Bloodbath 
Thanks, everybody. I didn't expect to have any applause, so, you know, this is very welcome now. I hope it doesn't make it a little bit weird that I'm making jokes and stuff between these songs that are obviously about quite dark subject matter, but I don't care. It's my show. I can do what I want. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I guess to be humor, it has to be funny, but, you know. This is a song I wrote fairly recently, and uh, fun fact about it, I wrote it the day I got back from my first... Uh, my first day at Papa John's, like the pizza joint, and uh, that doesn't have anything to do with the song. I just figured it sounded interesting, so, you know. See, I'm making people laugh. That's nice. But I never titled it either, so... Something I can't see 
Thank you, everybody. Now, I'd like to bring this show to a momentary grinding halt just to uh, give one big thanks to, I was going to have a band backing me up here, and they were called the Clay Pigeons, and they're fantastic, and I think they're great, but uh, some of the members got COVID. I wasn't exposed to it, don't worry. So um, I figured I'd thank them, you know, Corin, Ronnie, and Jared, you're fantastic, and I'm pretty sure you're watching this. If not, you know, screw you, I guess. But uh, <laughs> thank you, yeah, they're great. They're fantastic, and, um, you know, Corin especially has inspired me to do a lot of stuff like this, you know. Being a professional social outcast and whatnot, I don't go out much. So, you know, I'm happy to be here. I'm really happy that you all are accepting me, or at least pretending to. You're accepting. Oh, you're so kind. I love you guys. <laughs> um, now, let me see here. I've got a cheat sheet right next to me. I, you can see it here. Uh, let's see what I got next. Oh, I like this one. All right. I'm going to put this thing on. It changes the key of the song or something like that. And it's called a, I forget what it's called, but a capoo or something? Capo. Capo. I see. The old capo. This thing is old. It's all stretched out and weird. So, you know, but a lot of us are like that, I guess, you know. <laughs> all right. Now, let's see here. This is a song that I also never titled, but it's about this piece of Japanese folklore that I think is made up, but I'm not sure. It's, uh. I've completely forgotten it, but the whole gist of it is that something about taking all your memories away or something and something about forests. I See, that's the thing. I didn't rehearse any of this talking part. I rehearsed the songs, but the talking part, I'm just, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> but this song is, I don't know what to call it. I can't introduce it as anything. But you know I had to No more sickness No more hate I didn't want to see your face fall But it had to Come back to And you'll have to excuse that the arrangements are a little bit thin. It is just me and this guitar. There's no nothing up my sleeves. I don't really have much for sleeves. But, uh, you know, I'm. it was very short notice that the whole band cancellation thing happened. There's nothing you can do about that. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I can. And it seems like you all are enjoying it. Again, you know. Yeah. I, well, thanks, everybody. This is 
really feeding my ego. I'm going to have a serious ego problem when I go back home. Uh, now, let's see. This is a song that I wrote recently. See, I've got this cheat sheet because most of these songs are fairly new. I've been on kind of a hiatus, you could say, for a pretty long time now. So this is my first foray back into playing for people. Did I hear something back there? Is that? And this one's also untitled, so you know, don't expect a title. I suppose it's about something along the lines of, you know, hospitals and all that. When I was a kid, we used to go to, like, the nursing home a lot. And that's a, that's a real interesting experience. I don't know how much experience the average person has in a nursing home. But it's a very depressing, but I guess very philosophically stimulating experience, if you will. Um, the big words are to make me sound smart, by the way. It's, uh, it's all a facade, I promise you. That doesn't sound right. Another song, which is a bit of a love song, I guess, I suppose, I don't know. It's, I don't know, I just write them, you're supposed to give them that, I guess. Sets its eyes on the ones that I love. 
thank you, everybody. How about that? These guys will applaud for anything. Works in progress. That's good. You got, you got what well, mostly works in progress here. So, you know. Now, this is a tune. Oh, I'm already near the end of my set list. They told me to play for 35, 45 minutes. I've been playing for about 25. So, um, you can't tell right off stage we've got a guy here who uh, is holding, I believe that's a mallet, and I believe he's going to beat me with it after the show, which is. It's just a hook. It's just a hook? Oh, like a, like a cane. I see. That's, that's old fashioned. I like that. <laughs> yeah, someone ought to do that. This is a song, this is, well here, let me talk about it just a slight bit, if you will allow me the uh, moment to blabber. See, can you tell this isn't rehearsed? But uh, this is a song that is called Untitled, because it is untitled, imagine that. And uh, I always dedicate it to a good friend of mine named Devin. And so Devin, if you're watching this, I know you're not because you don't get out of work until 8.30. But if you were watching this, I would say, hi. She will watch it later. Oh, it's a she, but she will. She she can watch it later. She, um, but will she? I don't know. <laughs> if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but this song is called Untitled, and it's untitled. There's not much else to say about it, is there? Do you remember when you kissed me? Top of Grandma's steps. Oh, the warmth. All oh, the warmth. Oh, come to me and never leave again. Oh, again. Oh, again. Let's go back to the park where we walked and we made our marks on history. So goodbye, goodbye to all these memories, all the pain and the joy.
collect us something good And I know, oh I know I'll always have this feeling But it ends Well thank you everybody That's uh, my favorite song I think I've ever wrote and for the record, I am single. Uh, so take that. <laughs> Jesus, I hope someone watches this. I, I can see, like, as soon as our next band, Count Spacey, gets up, the viewership just whoo, is right up there. But you never know. I gotta remember which key this is in. This sounds about right. It's about in tune as well. Wow, this is a good night. The stars are aligned tonight. Uh, before I do this one, I always give this spiel just at concerts. And I just want to, because this is, this is the end of the set. Can you believe it? Finally. Um, <laughs> that wasn't me throwing my voice or anything. Yes, I've, I've even got a different camera angle so I can speak. I can look you right in the eyes. Why are you naked? That's weird. Um, is, that, is that so? It's a, an art sanctuary slash nudist colony, you see. But uh, I just want to give my little spiel here. I just wanted to say, you know, thanks to everybody who's watched this even for a second. I've got all these friends who are like, oh, you're going to do so good. You're going to do so good. You're great. You're fantastic. And I say, oh, thank you. I know I am. Um, <laughs> um, but I just want to say thanks to everybody. You know, I, I hear, let me shoot off two or three names. What? There's Norman. Norman, that's a real person, too. Uh, there's Corin. And I just threw a blank. I'm so sorry. That was, that was only two names. But <laughs> see, the more I talk, the, the worse off I am. <laughs> um, see, I could tape my mouth shut, but then I can't sing. And that's, I think that's the appeal. I couldn't tell. It's certainly not like the sex appeal or anything drawing people here, I don't think. Um, you notice the little bald spot here? I was going to put eyeshadow over it, but I was like, oh, they won't notice. But there is a bald spot here. I, my razor slipped the other day. I think it's, I think it's hilarious. Now... I'd like to play a song here. It's about, it's about everybody's favorite sort of bug, mayflies. Uh, is that a real kind of bug? I don't know. The name just popped into my head. Look at that. We got one mayfly fan in the audience. <laughs> they live 24 hours. That's philosophical. That's, I could have written a song about that. <laughs> yeah, it's called mayflies. It's about, I guess, different things. I don't know, but this is my show closer. So if you, you know, if you, uh, if you want to see the next band, if you think I'm ugly, I don't know, this is it. This is the end. So, you know, and save your applause as well. Get ready to be incredibly loud, scream, holler, throw stuff, throw tomatoes, uh, throw knives, whatever you want to throw. All right, I'm going to stop blabbering. And I'm going to start playing. Okay. I promise this time. I forgot to dedicate this song to Kyle. So it's
much, everybody. It's been fantastic playing for you. Thank you, Branson, Missouri. Thank you, everybody. And I am single for the record. Just figure I'll mention that. All right. Thank you very much, Maxwell Whitaker, and his debut. That's amazing. Thank you, everybody. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Well, this, since this is a special uh, a Saturday edition of Late for Dinner, ordinarily what we would have here is we'd have a little inspirational video for our sanctuary. But uh, we do want to kind of get things going through here because I know that there's the, uh, the My Mother, the Car Marathon that's uh, going to be on the Amazon, I think, tonight. And we kind of want to kind of get things through so you can get, uh, get tuned in on that. And I, I know you don't want to miss a single episode of that all those Ann Southern fans out there. I did want to announce, though, that the uh, uh, winner of the, the Jackson Queens uh, portrait uh, from the uh, contest last night was Andrew T. Simpkin of Poplar Ridge, New York, who was able to correctly identify that Creighton Barrel was indeed wearing shorts because it was in the summertime. Creighton, unless he's wearing a tux, does not wear long pants during the summer. All right, anyway, we're gonna take a couple of minutes here and get everybody up here on stage and we'll get ready for the next, sh next show. Okay. All right, we are back, uh, looks like, and here we go with our second act for the evening. And uh, these guys are wonderful. They are, uh, let's see, trying to figure out where that, uh, where that name came from, whether they were... Uh, um, uh, no relation to Kevin. No relation to Kevin. See, now, I was thinking perhaps it was uh, uh, an, an homage to both the Count from Sesame Street and Kevin Spacey, or maybe Kevin Spacey portraying the Count, which could could be interesting. You never can't. A little little dark, little little a little strange, but nevertheless, here they are, folks. Um, and uh, I heard them on the, in their practice, and they're wonderful. So um, put the popcorn down. Get ready to groove in front of the screen for Count Spacey.
We are Count Spacey. Thank you. Just like us Wake up your brainwashed minds They rule the government They control all of it We must resist their lies I put my shades on Obey, consume, and conform They want the climate changed So they can fry your brain We must resist their lies Till we die Thank you. We're Count Spacey. I'm Pat Hume, and now for something uh, completely different.
the ground And we can't stop it now There's a monster behind the sky and There's nowhere left to run There's a monster behind the sun Oh my, I don't know what is real or not Am I dreaming? I must be dreaming I can't help think that this is not just a nightmare No, it's real Behind the clouds, acid rains down. There's a monster behind your bed, whispers in your head. And darkness covers the sky. Is this the end of time? It's much worse than we feared. The monster is you and I. Don't know what is real or not Am I dreaming? I must be dreaming I can't help think that this is not just a nightmare Oh no, it's real! Oh no, it's real! Not just a nightmare. Oh no, it's real. I can't help think that this is not just a nightmare. Oh, oh no, it's real. Oh no, it's real. Thank you. This is the, uh, we're gonna play the first thing released, I guess, back in May, when we started this band. Hey, we started a band, then it was COVID. So this is our first show out. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for attending.
Thank you. We're going to pick it up from here. Thank you so much. We're Count Spacey. We just have one more. I'd like to thank Art Sanctuary. Thank Maxwell for playing. His voice sounded amazing. So, I remind you, we have uh, we're merchandise and stuff for sale on our band camp. It's 
Russell Taker. It's a big mess routine. It's the late stage. We're all cards in the machine. Here we go, let's go, baby. Got the green, get into the sea. Got that money, honey. Well, we got what you need. It's modern day serfdom. All hail the Burger King. It's wage slave class warfare. And the Algarve is winning. So you got the dough, let's go, baby. You got the green, get into the scene. You got that money, honey. We got what you need. We've got merchandise. We've got merchandise. We've got merchandise. commodity that is Town Spacey. We have things for sale, and without your help, we might not be able to finish this song. We got CDs, DVDs, and t-shirts. We've got cozies, coasters, and posters. We've got vinyl. We've got cassettes. We got hats, mugs, keychains, buttons, back hat stickers, and temporary tattoos. Yes! We got, we got merchandise. We got merchandise. We got, got, got merchandise. merchandise. We got merchandise! We've 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 got merchandise! Thank you, we're Count Spacey. Good night. Hey, well, thank you all very much. Uh, Count Spacey, that was fantastic. Maxwell Whitaker, thank you ever so much. Wonderful debut. And uh, thank you all out there for watching and, uh, and uh, being very patient as you get ready for your uh, My Mother of the Car Marathon. I know that you're kind of itching to get on in there. But uh, we will be back next Friday, and we will have more acts for you at that point in time. So we will uh, let you go and uh, so you can check out Jerry Van Dyke and Avery Shriver and, of course, Ann Southern as a car. She's her very own guiding star, a 1928 Porter, that's my mother dear. She helps me through everything I do, and I'm so glad she's here. So get on out there. I am, of course, late for dinner, and I will catch you all later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>